Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I would love it if you click that subscribe button so you won't miss the next What My Kids Eat In A Day video. Now let's get right into it. For breakfast, I am making sweet potato pancakes. I'm going to start by mixing the dry ingredients together. We can set this aside for now. We had baked sweet potatoes for dinner last night and I purposely baked some extra ones so they can be nice and cold this morning. And now I'm just going to use a hand mixer to mash it until it is relatively smooth. To that, I'm going to add two eggs, some vanilla extract, buttermilk, and melted butter. Now we're going to mix it again and pour the wet ingredients into the dry and gently fold. Try not to overmix, small lumps are okay, and set this aside for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I will be making some turkey bacon. I am using a dollar pan pancakes. To make the pancakes this morning, start by brushing it with a little bit of butter. And now I'm just going to drop the batter into each of the dollar pancake mold. And we're going to cook this for about one to two minutes until you start to see bubbles forming on top. Then you're going to flip and cook for another one to two minutes. I am serving this family style with a little bit of warm maple syrup, some yogurt, bacon, and some fruits. And here's our breakfast. For their smoothies, I am adding some milk, leftover yogurt from breakfast, half a banana, one cup each of frozen pineapple and blueberries, and a half a cup of frozen cauliflower. Then I'm going to just blend this until smooth. And here's their smoothies. We just got back from the market and I'm just going to make something super quick because it's kind of late and my kids are hungry. I'm going to make some frozen fries in the oven and I'm also going to make some asparagus in the air fryer. I'm just going to season it with a little bit of oil, some salt, pepper, and some garlic parsley. And we're going to cook this in the air fryer at 375 for about seven to eight minutes. We saw these beautiful lamb chops at the store today, so I'm just going to season these with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now I'm going to add them into a hot and well-seasoned cast iron skillet. I normally would cook this in batches, but my kids are ready to eat, so I'm just going to add them all in there at the same time. Cook this for about four minutes on each side or to your liking. In the meantime, the fries are ready, and I'm just going to add some seasoned salt and serve this with asparagus, and lunch is ready. For dinner, I'm going to start by cooking some pasta shells and in the meantime, I'm going to dice some bell peppers. I already have some chopped onion and now I'm going to mince some garlic. Add a little bit of oil and brown the ground turkey, breaking it up as I go until it is no longer pink. And now we're going to add the onion, bell peppers and garlic. Cook this for about four minutes and then we're going to add the seasoning and cook for another minute, making sure that it coats the meat and veggie mixture. And now we're going to add the broth, tomato sauce, and salsa. Give it a stir and let this reduce a bit. Be sure to give this a taste and adjust the seasoning if need be. Now we're going to add the pasta and cheese and please add as much cheese as you like. Stir until the cheese has melted, adding more broth if necessary. And here's our yummy and delicious dinner. For dessert, I'm going to start by draining the juice from a can of sliced peaches. Fresh is always best, but this will do for now. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, lots of cinnamon, and some vanilla extract, a little bit of lime juice or lemon. Give this a stir and set aside. And now unroll your pie crust on a parchment lined baking sheet and add the fillings to the center. As you can see, I started out wanting it to look pretty and in the end, I was like, forget this. Now you're going to fold the outer crust over the filling, creating overlapping folds all around. 
brush the crust border with whisk egg and sprinkle lightly with sugar. I forgot to sprinkle this with sugar, but you most definitely want to do that. Bake in the oven for about 30 minutes or until crust is golden. Remove from oven and add ice cream on top of the filling. This is one of my favorite dessert and that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.